Hello everyone, and this is Slay the Princess, given to me by Black Tabby Games. Content warning, this is a horror game, and it is not intended for all audiences. Slay the Princess contains flickering images effects, as well as a parallax effect that on rare occasions has caused motion sickness in players. If either of these causes health problems for you, you can disable them in the game's preferences. I'm one of those people who gets motion sickness, so we'll see. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings, there are no wrong decisions, there are only fresh perspectives and nude beginnings. This is a love story. Okay, so let's see what we get ourselves into. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the Ooh, forest, voice acting. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, I like the movement. Oh, I got choices here. Well, there are a lot of choices. Wow. Wait, turn Seriously? around and leave? You're just going to turn around and leave. Do you even know where you're going? I totally don't know. Somehow I doubt that, but fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Yep, totally. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. Okay, so no matter what, I'll end up at the cabin. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be safe. This reminds me of the Stanley Parable. Really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Hmm. When I said everyone, I meant everyone. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. And last I checked, you're part of everyone too. So if you think about it, I'm eat game. He's guilt tripping me. Is really in your best interests as well. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're oh. in the cabin again. Now I'm not <sighs> normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say. It seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. What are my options this time, I wonder? You know what, let's try it. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now, oh, the music you're stopped. making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who's oh, ever the music lived, stopped. Oh, dear. as well as for everyone who ever will. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of oh, that music's gone really weird now. Through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, uh, you uh, to what did they do? Those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin. Oops. The cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Oh. Well, what's going on? You're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because Oops. you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. Doomed us all. Sorry, narrator? Right. But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Hey, congratulations to me. 